We just covered client-side rendering in React and its two main drawbacks. The first is SEO. Since content relies on JavaScript to render on the client side, search engines often struggle to index it properly. The second is user experience. Users have to wait while their browsers download, parse, and execute JavaScript before seeing any meaningful content. To overcome these drawbacks of client-side rendering, modern React frameworks like Gatsby and Next.js move towards server-side solutions. Let's look at how this changes content delivery. When a request comes in, instead of sending a bare HTML file that needs client-side JavaScript to build the page, the server now handles rendering the complete HTML. This fully formed HTML document goes straight to the browser. Since the HTML is already generated on the server, the browser can quickly parse and display it, giving us faster initial page load times. This server-side approach tackles both CSR issues head-on. First, search engines can now easily index the server-rendered content, solving our SEO problem. Second, users see actual HTML content right away instead of staring at a blank screen or loading spinner. But here's the catch. While SSR makes content visible faster, it introduces its own complexity around interactivity. The page can't become fully interactive until the JavaScript bundle comprising both React itself and your application's code has finished downloading and executing in the browser. This important phase, known as hydration, is where the static HTML page, initially served by the server, is brought to life. During hydration, React takes control in the browser and reconstructs the component tree in memory using the server-rendered HTML as a blueprint. It carefully maps out where all the interactive elements should go, then hooks up the JavaScript logic. Things like initializing application state, adding click and mouse over handlers, and setting up all the dynamic features needed for a full interactive user experience. Understanding hydration is key for what's coming up next, so please make sure you're comfortable with what we have just learned. Diving deeper, server-side solutions can be categorized into two main strategies, static site generation, or SSG, and server-side rendering, or SSR. Static site generation happens during build time when you deploy your application to the server. This results in pages that are already rendered and ready to serve. It is perfect for content that stays relatively stable like blog posts. Server-side rendering, on the other hand, renders pages on demand when users request them. It is ideal for personalized content like social media feeds where the HTML changes based on who's logged in. You will often hear both approaches collectively referred to as server-side rendering or SSR. While server-side rendering was a big step up from client-side rendering, giving us faster initial loads and better SEO, it came with its own challenges. The first issue with SSR is that components cannot start rendering and then pause or wait while data is still being loaded. If a component needs to fetch something from a database or another source like an API, this fetching must be completed before the server can begin rendering the page. This can delay the server's response time to the browser, as the server must finish collecting all necessary data before any part of the page can be sent to the client. The second issue with SSR is that for successful hydration, where React adds interactivity to the server-rendered HTML, the component tree in the browser must exactly match the server-generated component tree. This means that all the JavaScript for the components must be loaded on the client before you can start hydrating any of them. The third issue with SSR is related to hydration itself. React hydrates the component tree in a single pass, meaning once it starts hydrating, it won't stop until it's finished with the entire tree. As a consequence, all components must be hydrated before you can interact with any of them. These three issues, having to load the data for the entire page, loading the JavaScript for the entire page, and hydrating the entire page at once, create an all or nothing waterfall problem that spans from the server to the client where each issue must be completely resolved before moving on to the next one. This becomes really inefficient when some parts of your app are slower than others, as is often the case in real-world applications. These limitations led the React team to develop a new and improved SSR architecture. Up next, we will explore this architecture and see how it solves these traditional SSR problems. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.